black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. All right, y'all, it's 9 a.m. sharp, pretty nice out. We're gonna have a fridge dive today. So I'm feeling like I want a breakfast sandwich. So let's use one of these gathering containers here. We're going to need, I think, some onion. I definitely want to use this jalapeno sausage that I've been chilling for a while. I just don't know why it's been taking me forever to use it, but today is the day. We have some tortillas here, but I actually want like a toasted, we're gonna go to the barbecue, it's nice out. We're gonna barbecue up some bread and put this on a, a on a bread sandwich. Of course, we need a couple slices of ches. Absolutely need the ches. Process the better for these breakfast delights. I got the Southwest sauce here. I definitely probably want some of that, I do believe. I also want some hot banana peppers those there and i think i might want to try this with a squeeze of hickory brown sugar sweet baby rays a little bit and what else do i think that i need here i think definitely some oil for grilling the bread so we got of course this is what we're missing eggs that would be the last ingredient so we got eggs oil we'll grab some salt i got the peppers the onions the sausage the bread the sauces I think we're good. So let's head out to the barbecue and have some breakfast. All right, this will be my first time on the BBQ this year. Hasn't been nice enough out yet. Hope she fires up. There she goes. We have flames. All right, first things first, I wanna get these onions on to saute. So we got the pan on, hot, a little oil in. Okay, coming in, sliced onion in the pan. A little bit of salt pinch to help draw moisture. All right, slowly but surely coming along here. We got an activation, but this grill's got to get hot. Uh, I need some color on these guys, but we'll get there. We will get there. Smelling good. Lighting up the neighborhood. All right. That'll about do it for me. I'm getting a little impatient if I'm honest, but I should be good. I'm going to pull those off. Or to the side, I should say. To the side, to the side. Okay, next I cut the sausage into some like sandwich label chunks that I'm just going to grill off, more like flat strip-ish. I think that should be nice for laying on the sandos. All right, so these shouldn't take long at all. Just a quick kiss, really. Forgot tongs, but we can make it work. Ooh, that's like a nice, beautiful grill mark. The cheese and the fat and everything is just releasing. That's gonna be delicious. Don't curl up on me now, baby. Don't curl up on me now. Gotta get the chef hands back in training from back in the line cook days flipping things, grabbing things way too hot all the time. Oh yeah, these are gonna be real nice. Go ahead and pop them in our nearby pan. A little flame action. Into the pan, into the pan. All right, next up, we're gonna rock our eggs in a separate pan here. Quick crack, quick crack. While the pans, oh, that's a shell. We don't need that now, do we? All right, one with clean, <laughs> one clean without the shells. There we go, we're all good, shellless. Okay, go ahead, break these down, flip them around. Get them into a scrambled dish state. And then what we want to make them real nice is a nice knob of butter. And low and slow, working them around until they come up to cook. All right, here we go, coming together, thickening up, getting to where we need to be. Still runny, but coming along. I'm hoping this can stretch the two sandwiches. I did bring four pieces of bread, but three eggs. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Should be enough, but it might be just be a little light on the egg for the sandwiches, but it'll be good. All right, there we go. That's how I like them. A little more fluffy, a little more, less wet. I'll go ahead and put some cheese on these on the top. Let it melt on there. Try to flatten it out to two sandwiches worth. So I can just scoop it and poop it real quick when it's done. All right, chez on this side. And another chez on that side. Off to the side, let that do its thing. In the meantime, let's toast up some bread. All right, I got some nice rye bread here. Thin but firm, dense. I love this stuff, a little oil on. Spread it around real quick. Pinch of salt. On to grill. 
and repeat process for all slices, round and round, a little salt, grill. All right, nice and crispy, crusty, just like that, perfect. All right, a quick reheat of these things real quick. Just another little 30 seconds to a minute, and then we're gonna build these guys. All right, let's go ahead and build these things. This is how I'm seeing it in my head. We got the two breads here, pop the tops off over here. Got the landings over here. I think straight away, we just gotta go in with halving the eggs down the center, and hopefully they come out for me. It seems like today we have luck and they are going to cooperate. So boom, we got one down, a little extra egg there. Now we're working with limited resources. We're outside. This isn't, this is going to be a little bit, you know, not the, not my greatest, most beautiful thing ever. Working with the barbecue is definitely different, but it ain't got to be pretty. It just got to taste good. You know what I mean? So next up, the idea is banana peppers. Just go raw and get in there with the fingies. One, two, three, four, a nice little helping. Then I'm thinking a sausage chunk across. One big one, one small one, we'll go like that. Big one, small one, back to back like that. From here, I'm thinking a Southwest ranch drizzle for that one and a sweet baby raise for this one really should have brought tongs but we're doing it you know we're just doing it raw style so we got the caramelized onions on the sauce across on both Ooh, that's looking good these onions came out perfect boom like that all right lastly just gotta pop a top with the grilled bread on each like that all right. all right so there we have it barbecue breakfast sandwiches just a fridge dive come join me as i pull up a nice iced coffee get this breakfast going get this morning started and then uh, just vibe out with you for a little bit here all right yo what up welcome to breakfast outside with me got a nice cup of ice i just ran down for i'm a little out of breath don't judge me Vanilla, Starbucks, fake sugar, iced coffee, going in. I like to just put like a, you know, like a one, two in, not a lot. Just enough to get her a little sweet, a little bit of sweet. And then we got the Starbucks ice blonde rose from the superstore, the best. So good, I've been loving it lately. Mostly coffee. And then on top of that, I like to go in with a almond milk, unsweetened original. To do it like the TikTokers do. TikTok coffee is like a gem. We got our stirring stick. There we go. I'm trying to scooch down low. I'm trying to, this is a weird angle. I'm outside, like my setup is kind of weird, but I'm sure you can see most of me, at least from here down probably, which is fine. Okay, cheers, I got coffee. It is now about 10. It took like an hour to make these. And that's because, ooh, that's good. That's because uh, just barbecuing is very, very different in terms of the temp, so. I definitely do want to get a cross section on this guy. I just don't want to get too cocky and have it spill out everywhere, but I definitely want to get a cross section on this fridge dive. Sausage, cheese, egg, all the fixings. Sandwich. Super excited for this. Mmm. Oh, it smells so good. Those onions. Wow, and the grilled bread, oh my God.
Holy shit. Mm -mm. No. No way. Wow. This is a top, a top tier breakfast bite, breakfast sandwich made out of absolutely nowhere, but wow. Man, the salted bread. The toasted salted bread makes all the difference, but flight path can't escape it from last year. You guys will remember. It. Oh man, the onions came out perfect. banana peppers cut through everything a little bit of heat but then you get the sweet from the barbecue sauce which sweet baby rays is i don't know it's definitely my favorite i've tried all their different versions and they're they're all good like not one is bad okay let's try the southwest ranch one what a great cross section looks so absolutely perfect and you know what, for this one, I am just gonna go immediately with an extra squirt. Okay. Mm. Okay, that bite was better. I bake on everything. I think I like the barbecue better. It just fits the, uh, it balances more. Mm, but man, oh man, it is good. Pat myself on the back for this one. I bought that huge jalapeno cheddar sausage quite some time ago. It's just been sitting in that drawer and like, I just been like wondering what I'm gonna do with it. And then the light bulb flipped this morning breakfast sandwich hear those guys I love those guys my favorite bird it reminds me so much of like my youth uh, out at my out at my camp but like when my grandparents were alive when it was their place just wake up early in the morning and you'd have to go to like like sports or swimming or whatever but your grandma would make you breakfast on the lake when you're just looking at the lake hearing that and then you go down and like play with your friends and shit the good old days not that i can complain this is great too i actually do have to go out there today to I don't know if you saw in the fridge there there's a bunch of bags of random groceries and it's because my parents are upon return right now from America and they have to quarantine for two weeks and that place like my dad inherited it from his parents so um, that's where he lives but they're not allowed to enter grocery stores or anything like that upon return so i went and did their grocery shopping and then i'm gonna drive it out there today and get it all set up for them 
so that they uh, have stuff to live off. Once they get back, so. They're abiding by the rules very strictly. Okay. So that's one of my missions today. Be a good son, essentially, is the mission. But I also get to take like a, it's always just a beautiful drive and it's just, it's meditative, right? You just cruise through like nature, the sun's shining, the lake, you see, you hear these birds, the trees, you just chill and just try to like zen out for the adventure. <sighs> Certainly could be a lot worse. I'm telling you, if you're a chronic Starbucks drinker, what's this? One and a half liters, coffee for five bucks. Can't even get a coffee this big at Starbucks for five bucks. Let's buy these. Let's buy this for, I think this was $12. And it's lasted me so long. And uh, just make your own iced coffees, like, like so cheap. I can get 10 coffees for like, you know what I mean? Like after all said and done, it's like a dollar a piece to make a coffee. Not smart to be blowing your, blowing your stack every day on coffee. All right, Southwest with a tinge of barbecue mix. Let's see how that is. Uh oh, no, man down. Shove you back in. I think it's the ranch aspect of that that's throwing me off. It doesn't belong. Might have been better with just hot sauce. Maybe Valentina. Maybe uh, Texas Pete. Maybe some Crystal, maybe some Franks. All the same shit. A vinegary hot sauce. I think might have been been the move. Mm. Perfect amount of food too. Not too heavy. The three eggs was sufficient. Was surprising. I didn't think we were gonna make it there for a bit. But it was perfect. Mm. Man. Come on. Three in like ten minutes. Becomes exhausting. I could say that for sure. But man, what an elite breakfast. That was really all I could have hoped to happen. It was way, it was better. It was better than what I anticipated. I, I thought it would be good. But man, that flame kiss, the char, the barbecue, just like the way that that makes flavors pop i gotta barbecue a little more often i think all right hope you enjoyed it till the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true make barbecue breakfast sandwiches Ugh.